God, you guys have done everything on the show. Pretty much. Hopefully not everything, because we still got a little bit. You have time hopefully, left. Hopefully, hopefully. we got a waste to go. <laughs> I'm good with that. The weaponized capacitor, the muffler, the pneumograph, all Murdoch Mysteries inventions. Now, which of these crazy inventions actually exists in real life today? I wonder. So, Craig, you get to create whatever crazy device the writers come up with for Detective Murdoch. How do you create these props, Craig? It's loud. It's a lot, <laughs> it's a lot of noise. It, it depends on the time of day. Okay. At Murdoch in my office, I have a 3D printer and a CNC machine. So we Fancy do a lot things. of stuff. What's a CNC machine? Computer numerically controlled machine. Basically, a nerd programs something into the computer and a router cuts it out. Um, oh it my makes gosh, lots Craig. of noise, it makes lots of dust, and uh, at the end of the day, we end up with some cool products. And you're in there like Inspector Gadget coming up with this. Yes. What is that? It's a weaponized capacitor. In my opinion, this is one of the coolest things we've built. I have to agree with you there. And what does it do exactly? This is a tranquilizer dart gun, and we could oh. probably take down a moose. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I love that. I loved when we watched our first episodes together, and I saw the Roomba. What was it called on the show? What, what did we call I that? I really had a name. It, it was, was very cool. And then at the end, to see this Roomba that's yeah, yeah. kind of a Slightly demonic. <laughs> it was, yeah. it was coming at you. That's what I remember that's at the right. end of the episode. It's coming it turns, And you. I was standing off camera with a remote controlling that thing. You can make it do anything. Craig, do you love your job? Do you dig your job? Most of the time, yes. What are the times that you don't dig? Budget meetings. <laughs> Fair um, enough. You're not only creative with the actual art, you're creative with the budget as well. Luckily, after 12 years, we have a huge stock that I can pull from. Mm -hmm. Some of the requests we had today to bring things, mm -hmm. to have dressing the set and to yeah. show, I kind of had to go, it doesn't exist anymore. Like, You've taken it down to Season make one, else. that was our thing, but Fair. by now it's actually been three other inventions. So you're recycling, reusing, and we renewing. To. Very nice, you're staying green. Do you remember the muffler? So that was quite a contraption. It was fairly big. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it had layers of stuff in it. Yeah. And uh, that's why we couldn't figure out what happened because nobody heard a shot. And I think Crabtree, he actually called it the silencer, but you guys called it the muffler. Along the lane. Silencer. That has a better ring to it. Silencer. No, no, no. The that's a terrible that's name. A terrible name. That's too on the nose. That's yeah. way too on the nose. Okay. And then there was the pneumograph, which is actually back here. And that device, mm -hmm. that's version two of the pneumograph. Mm -hmm. What happened um, to version one, Craig? Uh, version one has been recycled. But again, a lot of these inventions we see once and they vanish mm -hmm. yeah. because, like Yannick said, otherwise he'd solve every crime. I exactly. Mean, the truth eyes. And it had a t whole chair it and was, arm it was, straps. It was an extravagant thing. I had to hide under a desk to, m to make the liquid go up and down. <laughs> and I think we all sort of collectively decided that if this thing was around, mm -hmm. we'd solve maybe 99% of the crimes <laughs> with it. You know, and it'd be a really boring You're show. You're like, you so. gotta get rid of this. Do you know what I really enjoyed about the first episode? It was, first of all, the amazing house that you guys moved into, but also uh, the microwave was used. Was it called the microwave? What was it called? Do you it's remember? potato cooking room. Potato cooking room. <laughs> I remember we were all sitting there watching <laughs> oh. it at Shaftesbury, and I was like, what's gonna happen with a, oh! Actually, the best part of that was how hard making all the sort of body parts fall from it. <laughs> and then for us to keep a straight face, because it was heinous. It Looked it. I'm glad I didn't have to work on that. Okay, so Craig, what was your favorite gadget or prop that you have ever built on the show? It would be Pendrix Bullet, which was tell us a bit about a it. Car that we built for Peter Stebbings' character. Uh huh. Inside it was a three-wheel bicycle with an electric motor on the rear wheel, mm -hmm. uh, and it could go. It, it could go really. It was fast. a lot of fun to drive. Two of us, maybe sitting on this couch, rolled the thing. <laughs> Because oh, we don't it, want to say it had a tight turning radius, <laughs> yeah. so... Um, yeah, we did end up upside down <laughs> a couple of times. So you but... guys get to play. Oh, yeah, At work with this kind of stuff. Absolutely. I had it up to 55 miles per hour. 55 <laughs> miles an hour. <laughs> Can you... You da, ja, You know, and that's not stuff that I get to do very often. Now, what gadget was the most difficult to incorporate and learn to use? We built an airplane. <laughs> yes. So, like an airplane, airplane, or like an airplane, airplane? No, no, like 32 foot wingspan airplane. You built it? Y more or less. God, you, you guys have done some... everything on the show. Pretty much. 
Hopefully not everything, because we still got a little bit. We have time hopefully, left. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we got a ways to go. Now the answer to my beginning question is all of them. Murdoch's inventions are always based on real life creations. To wrap up, I've heard that you are building an R2-D2 of your own in your house. Is that a true story? I am currently building a life-size humanoid robot in my basement. 3D printing the whole thing. Because I was hoping that you could build me something that would make me breakfast, get my dry cleaning, tell me I'm pretty, and then go away for the night. Do you think that you could do that for me? Yep. Okay, fair Sounds enough. Ideal. Thank you so much, Yannick and Craig, for coming. <laughs> We'll I'm going to give you my cell phone number. We'll talk about it later. <laughs> I'm good with that. <laughs>